Hi everyone, this is your instructor Asma Mushtaq from the EE Vibes and in today's lecture I will discuss about the data serialization in the Peak Microcontroller. So what is meant by the data serialization? It means uh, if you have a byte of data and you want to send this data to a particular pin or you want to receive it via a particular pin bitwise so sending and receiving the data bitwise is called data serialization now what happens in the peak microcontroller or in any microcontroller if we have a byte of data which is obviously an 8 bit data what we do we transmit this data by using the framing by the framing we mean we add a starting bit and we add a stopping bit so adding the starting and stopping bit at the beginning and at the end of the data is called the data framing you can set this val bit value equal to 1 or equal to 0 but for this uh, example i will add or set the values of the starting bit and the stopping bit now the problem in our hand is to send the value 83 hex at the first pin of port b so what we are supposed to do we have to send this 83 value hex to the first pin of port b bitwise if you write down the binary equivalent of it this will become 1 double 0 double 0 1 triple 0 double 0 double 1 fine okay for implementing this particular problem what we need to do we need to have a counter which will keep monitoring either we have send all the bits or not so we in will initialize this counter equal to 8 this is the first thing that we need to do we need to reserve a register let's call it r1 that will store the value 83 hex fine so for that we need to actually set a counter and a register for counting the bits and for storing this value okay the serialization or the data serialization is implemented in the PIC microcontroller using the rotate instructions. So rotate instructions will be used for transmitting the data bitwise. One thing more, we start the transmission from the starting bit and then LSB should be transferred first. And we know about the rotate write through file register rotate write the contents of the file register via carry so i will perform the serialization which is the sending of the data using this instruction how this instruction actually works in this instruction what we do we will have an initial carry so carry can be 0 or i will set carry equal to 0 this carry actually goes to msp first and least significant bit is copied into carry bit fine so in this way rotate right the uh, contents of the file register via carry is implemented and also you can see the video lecture where i have explained all the fault rotate instructions uh, for the serialization now let's start doing the implementing this problem so first of all i need to allocate a memory for the counter so counter or count equate let's say 20 5 hex is the memory location that I am allocating for storing the value of the counter and similarly R1 equate 
you can say that it's equal to 26x so, so these are the two consecutive memory locations that will be storing the value now the next step is to initialize the counter and for that what i will do i will write move literal value to red and now i will move the decimal value 8 into the counter so for that i will write these two statements move reg to file and then count so in this way the counter value is set to 8 okay the next step is to move literal value to reg which is equal to 83 hex in this case so i will just write move literal value to reg 83 hex this will automatically initialize an a hex value and then i have to store this value into the register which is equal to r1 in this case so r1 will have this value so far we have allocated two locations for storing the counter and the value that we want to actually transfer then we set the value of the count and we store the value in the memory location r1 okay what's the next step in the next step I will clear the carry bit of the status register. So bit clear file register. Which file register? Status. And which bit I want to clear? The carry bit. Fine. So it will make carry equal to 0. Alright. Now since I want to transmit the data at the first pin of port B. So I have to configure port B as an output port which can be done by using this statement bit clear file register trace b comma one so this will make the first pin of port b an output port all right now the next step is rotate write through carry the contents of the file register okay so which file register i want to rotate r1 and the resultant should be stored in the file register fine now i will put the condition if there is no carry okay if there is no carry then what should happen i should go to certain label which means i need to make or transmit zero bit at the output so i will mark the label right here and in that label what i am supposed to do if there is no carry bit clear file register port b comma 1 so a 0 will be transmitted at the first bit of port b fine otherwise what should happen bit set file register port b comma 1 which means what we need to do we need to transmit 1 at the port at the first pin of port b and then go to obviously there is certain label next what i'm supposed to do in the next label the next label should decrement the value of the count so decrement file register which is the count okay branch not zero then it should go to the label one and at the label one we should rotate the next bit so i will mark the label one over here while the next label will be placed right before the decrement of the count okay so in this way what will happen first we rotated the contents of the file register okay and the content or the lsb will be copied into carry flag so this was the value of 83 hex when we will rotate it and see you if you can see c is equal to 0 carry goes into the msb so what you will have you will have 0 1 0 0 then 0 0 0 1 while carry will become equal to 1 fine since carry is equal to 1 now when you will come over here branch not carry so this condition is not true we will not go to the label one but the next instruction will be executed which will which is saying bit set file register port b comma one which means one will be transmitted at the port one this is exactly what we wanted to do we wanted to transmit one and then go to the next when you will go to this label 
the count will become 7 and branch node 0 since 7 is not equal to 0 so you will go to the label 1 again and again you will rotate the contents of R1 and uh, in this way once after performing again the rotation this carry will go into the MSV so you will have 1 0 1 0 0 0 0 while carry will be equal to 1 again and see since branch node carry is not satisfied again so you will go or you will set the uh, first bit of the port be equal to 1 and in this way it will continue one thing more that I skipped in this case first you had to send the high pulse before the transmission of the data so after setting the or configuring the first bit of port be equal to 1 what you needed to do you should have written here bit set file register port b comma 1 which is actually the data framing and this statement I skipped actually similarly once you are done with the transmission of 8 bits what you need to do you need to do bit set file register port b comma 1 just to indicate that the data has been transmitted or one byte has been transmitted serially so this is how the serialization is implemented in the pic microcontroller thank you for watching